Daniel is one of poker's biggest personalities, and if he ever wins its biggest event, he'll have to hire another personal assistant just to sign his autograph everywhere. <laughs> Good point. He opens under the gun to 44,000 with queen 10 of hearts. He is a fan favorite player, tweeter, blogger, you name it, they love him. Yeah, but he has been in a bracelet drought. He's only won one since his 2004 Player of the Year summer. To Pollock now with pocket nines. Pollock says he'd rather win the main event bracelet than an Oscar because he could wear the bracelet. He was nominated for a Blockbuster Entertainment Award in 2000 for End of Days. You can't wear a Blockbuster Entertainment <laughs> Award anywhere. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? Bell. Bell? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Bell. I'm Kevin. <laughs> you know, at this point, Daniel clearly knows Kevin's got a better hand than he does. <laughs> raise. All right. A re-raise announced. Well, when Kevin Pollock three bets, it's like a code blue in a hospital. Everyone's on high alert. He makes it 140,000. <sighs> Hold the best hand. Folded to Poker Pro and bracelet winner Chance Corneth with two red jacks. Tricky pocket jacks against the three bet from the tightest guy here who just committed one third of his stack. Plus Daniel Negrano still to act. So much to consider. And the jacks meekly go into the muck. Daniel folds, give it to Pollock. Do you accept bribes to see your hand? How much? Well, I got five bucks on it. Dan five? did it for five earlier. Five? Ten? For each guys. I'll throw in a hug. Pollock <laughs> shouldn't show his hand for any price unless it's seven deuce. Hi, Jax. Jax? One Jack or two. Three. Yeah, yeah. Just now? You had the best hand then. Jax? He had like nines or something. Nines or eights. Oh, yeah. Did I mention the Grano can read your soul? <laughs> <laughs>